first came across Move from probably seeing social posts and hearing a bit of noise, maybe seeing it at conferences and just hearing about this kind of markerless mocap technology and thinking, yep, that's a definite need for that. A great thing that uh, the Move AI technology provides is the ability to capture motion without needing to put on any suits or anything that restricts your motion. So you can be totally free, you can move just as you would naturally. I didn't have time to go to the gym anymore, so I started working out from home. But the apps that I was using were just all super boring. And so I started to use the te technology from my research lab at Imperial College to start to capture my motion in 3D. And that's fundamentally how I got into motion capture. What's been great is coming to this with a fresh mind and I've never had this bias of needing to put on suits. I've just seen what's happened in the past and it's just looked crazy. Like, why do you have to put on these uncomfortable suits? Why do you have to fly talents and bring people to a specific studio in a part of the world or in a certain part of your country? Instantly became very interested in it because it, it looked remarkable and from our experience of working with both market systems and inertial systems, um, which have you know benefits and also uh, uh, complications uh, around um, their, their their use and costs, and uh, we were slightly concerned that we were going to be using a new product uh, on a live project, um, and we were instantly put at ease by you guys. And as much as UK gave us a, a trial, um, we saw the data that came out; it was absolutely fantastic. The first uh, project that we did for Doppelganger was a. Uh, uh, using multiple um, individual characters and then multiple characters and bringing those two characters together it really the 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 magic really happened you know as far as the performance was concerned just saw I mean it sounds ridiculous and hyperbolic but it, you know I saw the future you know if it's marketless tracking uh, the you know democratization of, of, um, of performance capture it is this democratization I mean the same ways that I see it as it's um, similar to when the 5d came out. Uh, for uh, cinematographers, you know, that the, the previously you would be spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on a piece of equipment to be able to get a piece of depth of field or that flexibility to be able to go out. A cluster of technologies which are coming together which I think are really going to transform the way that we consume and make content. I think the democratisation of any technology is, you know, super important to give it into the hands of as many people as possible. Don't require a manual or don't require, you know, a lot of uh, learning or, or complex user interaction it's magical because everyone knows how to move their body and everyone knows how to operate their hands and fingers and, and uh, all of that. The future of motion capture for the industry is being able to, to faster and faster go from idea to getting that idea into 3D motion.